Okay. So again, on here, it's a lot more vibrant than it's showing on screen. So it's not so, um, I don't know, it looks, it looks misty. It's very vibrant, There's a lot of blue. I mean, the bubbles have a lot more color and pop to it. So um, look on screen, not on this. So this guy is probably the most personal sketch I've ever done. If I wanted to create something that was important to me and symbolic to the history of my family, this would be it. Um, it started, this is a longer story, it started with an open call by you, uh, Iris Van Herpen in 2016. Yep. And the top dress, the, the bubble dress, not this particular one, but a different version was my yep. first digital illustration. And I've told you this before, but I remember when I was done, I was like, I've made it as an illustrator. I can never do <laughs> <anything> better. <laughs> it's like, wow, I'm good at this. And now I look back, I'm like, that's awful. I can't believe I do that. Um, but it, this is an Iris Van Herpen thing. And at the beginning of COVID, they did um, like kind of an open call, like use any of our dresses from any time period, yep. um, be inspired and they never posted any of them but anyway i'm obsessed with that brand so i did this mm -hmm. and i chose these two dresses yep. um because i wanted to kind of do a symbolic illustration using science and fashion because that's what she's known for she uses yep. a lot of technology to do her dresses yep. so what's the biggest thing in north america nasa um and i was lucky that i grew up in jetmore kansas and right next to that is Burdette, Kansas, where um, Clyde Tomba was neighbors with my great grandfather, best friends, married through, related through Mary. I don't know how it worked. Mm -hmm. He discovered Pluto. And so I have pictures of my family with him, him on the farm. Um, it's a big tradition in history in my family. And in 2015, NASA sent New Horizons. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it passed Pluto. And what they discovered, they took a bunch of pictures. And then the Southern Hemisphere was a bunch of red, which you obviously can't see from here. Yep. But what that means to you know, people who aren't super nerdy and crazy um, is that means there's life form on the planet of some yep. form. It's photosynthesis. And so what I wanted to do here is the dress on the bottom kind of creates a galaxy and the fabric of life kind of flowing and floating around um, in the universe. And fun fact, I'll just, I'll point from here, but you can't see it. Uh, there's the star cluster in the dress that Clyde Tomba used to discover Pluto. So that's actually in the dress. If you find it, you'll get something. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured out what that would be yet, but you can get something from me. Um, and the top illustration represents obviously bubbles, life coming to the surface, the realization of that we're not the only people in the universe. Um, and then my favorite part is the bubbles going in between the fingers. And the rumor was when Clyde passed away that he wanted to be buried or have his ashes scattered on Pluto. And the rumor is when New Horizons passed that they did that. So that's kind of the connecting of the two worlds of, you know, darkness and lights, him and Pluto. There's a lot to it. So that's a lot to digest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I feel bad. I, I wrote it down because it's a, it's a lot. But if of all the things that I've ever done, this is the one that's the most it's super cool Deep. though. Like I like the composition. I love like the details in this like piece. It's just so it's really magical. Thank you. Like Good. where will you put it in your house though? Like if you have the time. Uh this one to me is very inspirational. And it is, like I said, it's a lot brighter than what it looks here. Um, I would put it in my office. It's something that I want to see a lot because there's a lot of push and pull and movement. So it just keeps my eye engaged and then i dream so that's where i would put it i don't where would you put it it's like for some reasons i just keep looking at the bubbles yeah which is i mean who doesn't want a bubble dress no maybe not you i i would love a bubble dress. <laughs> all right well we are gonna move to another piece right now